Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the final episode of the uh, Permissions mini-series. Since the last episode, I've worked very hard to uh, debug the plugin, and I've fixed all, uh, or at least most, of the bugs that I found, and the plugin now works. Um, there were a lot of bug fixes, so I can't exactly show you where they all are, but if you have an older version, it will definitely not work. There were a bunch of problems. But now, um, it does work, and I'm going to demonstrate it for you. So, I have Essentials installed on the server, and right here is the Essentials uh, command reference, or permissions reference, rather. Um, it's really helpful if you use Essentials, it'll, you know, you can look up like a command and it'll tell you the permission. So I'm just going to test it using the kill all command, as I think it's just easiest. So first I'm going to grab a uh, spawn egg, just so I can demonstrate that it actually works. Spawn, uh, let's spawn some, like, some cows. Okay. So, we have, so we'll spawn a couple of cows, okay, and right now, the permissions file is empty, so if I take a look at it, it's empty, brand new file. So if I go ahead and try kill all, it will say you don't have access to that command, because uh, the only uh, permissions plugin on here is permissions 29, and I do not have access, so I don't, so it doesn't work. Now I'm going to demonstrate with individual and with groups. So we're going to go ahead and say perms uh, user pogo stick 29 add perm uh, essentials dot kill all. And now if I try to run the command, as you can see, it said killed 117 because I gave myself the permission, and it works. So now let's spawn some more cows and let's remove the uh, permission. So we're going to use remove perm instead. And now, if we try kill all again, you'll see that it doesn't work because now the permission was removed. So my uh, user is now set back to nothing. So like if I do perms user uh, progressive 29, no permissions. So now I'm going to show it to you with groups. Um, so let's go ahead and create the group. We'll call it test. So now we have the group test. We're going to say perms group test add perm essentials dot kill all and perms group test add I'm going to add myself to it if I run uh, kill all you'll see that it says killed 104 because it did uh, in fact work but if I go ahead and um, remove myself from the group so perms group um, test remove uh, myself and now if I try it again you'll see it doesn't work and also if I add myself back to the group, but remove the permission from the group, it won't work. So, uh, perms uh, user, or sorry, perms group test remove. Okay. So now that I'm removed from the uh, group, it doesn't let me do it. The group still has the permission, uh, but I don't, I'm not in the group, so it does not let me do it. And the last final thing to mention is I added a test command for testing permissions. So you can do, like, perms test uh, Pogasic 29 and the permission could be um, essentials.killall and it says I don't have the permission now if I added the permission to myself or to a group and I put myself in the group then it would say that it does work but that's just a little utility that I was using for testing and I'm definitely gonna leave it in there because I think it's helpful so that's all for this final episode. Lots of bugs fixed, and the plugin now works, and it has basic group support as well. Um, uh, the code, of course, will be in the description, so make sure to download it and replace any old code, because the old code definitely won't work. As always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn, and if you like this video, click the like button. I will see you guys soon. Uh, with some more coding videos. Bye, guys.